Ladies and gentlemen, we have now to present to you King Loser. And who's your favorite band, Dave? King Loser. Suck. We have in the studio with King Loser, Chris and Celia. Welcome. Hi. Good afternoon. Hello. You guys are sort of technically halfway through the comeback. Actually, uh, no, 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 there's, there's no comeback. In 2016, we set up a tour. It was three weeks. It was still daunting. Daunting for all the wrong reasons. It's a good thing the master box. But we've got no time to do that early. Well, it won't look good on the documentary. We sat in the car when we drove out to practice. Don't want to go in that room. Shut up, you don't start this song. The drum sticks to you. You can't It's like going to war, Andy. I think I've got PTSD. <laughs> After that crowd premiered to see the immolation, the whole thing just go up in flames. And they wanted to be there to see us be wild and incompetent and fall the fuck apart. Why? Why are you coming here? Fucking pussies, I don't know with one limb working. Hey, lady, you want to be in a rock and roll band? Just this. Come on in there. Went round here and with this beautiful Indian woman, of course, Patrick. Pat's probably going to look for a piece of ass, you know what these seamen are like. And I hit it off. Immediately with these guys. Yeah, it was kind of a rugged situation to be in the band with a small blended couple. How many drummers do you think you had? 15. King Loser was a bit surf, a bit round. That band does a lot of things at once. I could fly none out of us once. I think you'd be kicked down from your own band. There's been a lot of gossip mongering inquiries as to the competence of various members. Fucked if I'm telling them so they can sit around gloating about oh, my friends. Yeah. I'm not putting out this shit anymore, you're fine. You can do it tonight, but that's it. Sean and I got screamed at a lot. And and that's too strange to how deep those relationships run. Because you can't get half a foot away from someone and shout at the top of your lungs and then be best friends with that person in the morning. Unless you've got a very strong stake driven into the ground. I don't know if it's but wise it's to talk about it in terms of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Now there's no more morning dew. Now there's no more morning dew. What they were saying all these years.